Hello, in this video we will discuss the methods how to obtain pixel value density, also referred to as relative Hounsfeld units. A pixel is the smallest unit on the screen and where we derive the density value. A voxel is simply the pixel value uh, that's occupying a volume 3D space. The pixel value density is the unit based on the cone beam original slice thickness and not on the 3D image rendering. So here is the pixel value tab in the original slice thickness format. You can see minus 1024 is the lowest number that goes into the scale. The maximum number would be around 3071 30, plus 3071, and um, that's going to be in your um, implant planning uh, and also um, with your crowns. As you can see, 3071 is popping up at this particular point. That's the maximal value. So here, as we target particular areas here in the cancellous bone, this being the um, nerve canal down here, uh, we can see when we're pointing the arrow, the pixels are displaying the uh, pixel value density units. Again, these are the, what we call the relative Hounsfield units. So that is uh, uh, with the, each individual pixel value as we're moving in across targeted areas. Now if the pixel value density does not display when you're clicking on the icon, it's because the ray sum is selected. Ray sum is an averaging of uh, slices and it's based on the original slice thickness for the density. So we want to uncheck the ray sum box, go back to the original slice thickness, and now our uh, pixel value density is displayed. So just remember, if the, you don't see this, uh, uncheck the ray sum box for it to display. You can get an average pixel density on a group of pixels that you want to display. To do that, hit the measurement tool and it opens up a toolbar here. You go to the polygon, and you click this, and you can um, trace out an area. Okay, so with, we'll trace out this particular area, and then you can see the, um, the mean, which is kind of the average between the pixels here in the cancellous bone, is going to be uh, this point 299. So that is your average, so to speak, in this area. If we want to do another one, we'll probably get a different averaging here because this is a little bit more denser bone. So we'll pick this, and then we can get a slightly different number. See, So the average drops a little bit here. Uh, or actually increases, sorry, it increases a little bit because of this more dense region. So you can get it individual pixels, or you could group them in, in an area of uh, uh, pixels displayed just like this. When you're finished measuring, just simply hit the measurement tab and you'll get back to the original screen. There is a color display scale that also depicts the density, giving it a, a color designation. If you go down here and ch check the color template box, see it's a toggle, I'll click it back on. So it gives you the scale and you can see from the highest, red, orange, yellow, green, blue to the lowest. So that is your scale of density. If you do not see this color bar, go up to the upper right toolbar here and then just click this on or off and so you'll get your uh, color bar displayed. When finished, just simply uncheck the color template and you're back to the original grayscale imaging. Hope this video was helpful in the topic of pixel value density and relative Hounsfield units.